Namaste, my dear friends, my dear gods and my dear masters. Today, in our Alpha training, let us look into law of mirrors. Every day, every session is a great opportunity for us to do an introspection. Every person we meet in our life is nothing but the attraction of our inner state and inner thoughts. Law of Mirror says that whatever is in your inner world is nothing but the reflection of the outside. However you are inside, you will start seeing outside. You will attract such situations. You will attract those people. The outside world is a reflection of the inner world. If you see beauty outside all the places, it means inside you are beautiful. If you are only able to see pain everywhere outside, it is telling you your inner world is suffering with pain. Whatever our inner the same thing is reflected outside. When we meet people, and what you see is exactly what you are inside. The same person is met by many people, but not everybody perceives the same things. Everybody perceives different things based on their inner state and thoughts. I met a military guy once. When I was teaching meditation, he was looking at me very doubtful. Throughout the session, he was only looking at me with great doubt. I asked him, are you ready to do meditation? At the end, he said, I don't trust you. I said, why? He said, we are trained not to trust anybody. So whatever I spoke for three hours in the train journey, he was only reflecting his inner state. He is not ready to practice. But he told me, when I go to a safe place, I will meditate, but not here. Because the inner thoughts are, they are trained now have to look everybody doubtfully. Others around him were looking at me in a different perspectives. One as a friend, one as a guru, one as a guide. But this fellow is looking at me as a terrorist or enemy because they are trained to do that. Remember, we meet positive people, we meet negative people. But at that point, whoever you meet, they are just reflecting your inner state. Because our inner state keeps changing. For example, when you start your day in the morning with a lot of frustration or irritation, throughout the day you will meet people, you will meet situations, just the mirror of your inner state. If you are highly irritated and you go to the road, you will attract more people to irritate you. I have experienced, I have tested this time, a lot of times. When you leave your home and go to office or your business with a lot of joy and happiness, that particular day you will see a lot of people will come and greet you. What is happening outside 
is nothing but the mirror what is is inside not just your thoughts more than the thoughts your inner feelings has more magnet so what do we do every time we come across such people some situation like that we must take an opportunity to understand oh maybe my inner state or inner feelings is attracting them that moment of self awareness will help you to correct yourself shape yourself we want everybody around us to change but the change has to happen within if you change inside you won't attract such people you won't attract such experiences even if you attract what you see will be different i had a friend way back in 2001 in the college she was a very good friend of me something happened i don't know what the whole college and the university they abandoned her but the next day i went to her i spoke as usual she told me why are you even talking to me and the whole world hates me i told her i don't know what's happened and i'm not interested to know what happened for me you're a good friend i will remain the same that day she cried i still remember that incident because i want to see only the pure friendship in her i don't want to see what others see in her and what others see in her it is not visible to me because my inner state is not that when we appreciate others and everyone around we are in fact appreciating ourselves in spiritual learning we always say we all are connected we all are one but yes people around us situations around us there are imperfections a soul takes human life to become more perfect perfection is a process continuation process is there any painting which we call as perfectly completed painting no is there any monument you say perfectly chiseled no the perfection is a continuous unlimited process but we need to understand others i always see which soul level are they and why they are born the more we see and for you to see that you have to be that if you want to see what level they are you must have that capability patience you must see your feelings what your thoughts if you have the self awareness you will be able to see the person what exactly they are then you will be able to accept them when you accept others you are accepting yourself accepting ourselves is not easy remember this point accepting ourselves is the most difficult most of the times we see others imperfections we see others greatness but we fail to see our own self that is where the law of mirror comes in every person coming into your life is helping you being a mirror same set of people same set of situations if it is repeating again and again the pattern is telling you hey buddy you are what you are look at me you 
you are attracting me so it shows that what is inside you when you have suppressed emotions unconscious desires even that is reflected everything what is inside you if you want to find start looking into others eyes certain people told me few of their friends are good with everybody but with them they are not good with them they are not good the moment that friend comes near her their behavior changes why because they are reflecting your inner in this spiritual moment the great advantage i saw is for most of the masters they they are simply the reflections of others state because their mind won't work most of the times they got that mastery but their behavior their words their deeds sometimes reflects others you have to have that self awareness you have to have that eye to see we simply get into a conclusion judging the other person so quickly he is like that she is like that she is not good she is negative she is positive instead of speaking or jumping into conclusion look at them as a mirror am i like that are they just reflecting me if you get this self awareness the spiritual and personal growth both changes if you embrace if you accept what they are is it not a great help we are doing to ourselves only if you accept you can change the change can happen the change can start with acceptance somebody tells you you are so great you have these powers you have the capability ability you are very happy but if someone comes and points you anything which is negative we don't need to accept but take it as an opportunity to write down or keep it aside and check one by one do i have these qualities without adding emotion to it how can she speak like that how dare he can talk like that no tell them swami ji thank you very much you have given me five bullet points let me go and check nobody comes into our lives by accident my dear friends i have learned this from my guru patri ji that there is no word called accident everything is an incident i started looking my life 100% as incidents when you look life as incidents then you don't take anything light if you see everything as accident you will just leave it but if you start looking at everything as an incident then you will start questioning why did that person come why did this event happen most of the times the law of mirror helps us to heal our subconscious patterns and behaviors if someone comes and tells you a hey, this is how you are behaving with me why don't you look at you then we realize am i behaving like that am i am i am i you get question 
until unless someone comes and tell you but with meditation you become self aware we don't need others to come and point us when your self awareness increases then you look into that person then we understand what is happening how are my thoughts how are my feelings if you become aware of these things then you look that as a tool to face our own issues and conflicts let me tell you a story in a small town there was a lady called maria <clears throat> she was very famous the whole town wants to go and see her because she had a magical mirror vikram a small boy in the town who was a youngster was very much interested to go and look into the mirror maria told yes you can look into it and he asked what is so magical about the mirror she said the mirror not only show your outer appearance it will also show your inner he was very happy vikram was happy he want to see so before entering the room he was thinking the mirror would show him as a young boy strong boy very independent boy all excited he goes and stand in front of the mirror it was devastating to see him as a lean figure criticizing others judging others scolding others he went to maria and said hey is there any problem with the mirror is there any technical issue <laughs> she said nothing it shows exactly what you are inside very hard to accept we wish we all had such mirrors very hard to accept but he took it as an opportunity is this how i am inside then the moment he realized the truth he started working on himself and the change starts happening there the magical mirror in the story was a physical mirror but in real life every person and every situation is a magical mirror for us be grateful to every person we meet every day be grateful for all the people we have met in our life so far they have helped us they have helped us to understand what we are very grateful to all of you each and every one of you helps me to explore what i am every day thank you very much